first. But canned corn is literally cooked when they can't, so you don't have to do that. Okay? I, and ma make sure you have a skillet that's big, because if you don't have a skillet that's big enough, you won't be able to get all the corn in. And then the corn will be flowing over on the burners, and who wants to clean them? <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the margarine in the skillet, right? And it's going to need to do what? Melt. 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 So you could, wait a minute, Jordan, which one am I using again to be in the front? The right. The right. Very good. Everybody's got this down now, right? The right-hand side is the always the front. Okay, we just want it to melt a little bit. Okay, and after it melts, we're going to put in the onions. It says, saute onion in margarine until golden brown. Now, you might think that's only going to take a minute, but ask any of the second years that have made onion soup. Is Allison over here? Allison, how long does it take to saute onions? Quite a while. Quite a while. It takes quite a while. It takes longer than you would anticipate. And whoever minced these onions didn't mince all of them. They don't look so minced, but you guys are going to do much better, right? Yes. You know how to mince. Okay. I think they were going to math and they didn't get them quite done. So second years go to math one day a week and they just love math. When you're mincing your onions, if you have a little left, what would you do with your leftover onions? What would you do with the leftover onions? Bring them to the community bowl. Thank you. It's cooked. It takes a little longer than everybody anticipates. the salt right on top of there, and then you add the mustard right on top of there, and then you add your parsley right on top of there, okay, and get those kind of mixed together, and then add your corn, okay, and what did I say about the corn? If you were using canned corn, the corn's already been cooked in the canning process, right? Okay, so we just have to get the corn heated up and mixed together. See, I'm going to get the corn overboard. Okay. Uh, Allison, we're going to need a little monkey dish to put this in for the final food. So could you get me a little monkey dish and a spoon? Yes, you're going to get to eat the corn. You're going to get to eat the corn. Isn't this going to be lovely? You're going to get corn and noodles and beef stroganoff three lab days in a row. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, thank you. Okay, so you're going to need your tasting fork. Yes, Isaac. Oh, and maybe that was sugar. I'm going to assume it was the right thing. I'm sure it was the right thing. Okay, I didn't read them. All right. Not quite warm enough, though. Make sure, guys, guys and gals, before you have me taste this, make sure that it's warm enough, that it's not room temperature, okay? So, I don't know how these labs are going to pan out. It could be that I'm going to come taste your corn on the stove. It could be I'm going to taste your stroganoff on the stove. I don't know. We'll just have to see how the timing goes. Um, you should be able to get the cake, though, and then i got to talk about the cake after it comes out of the oven. So, if you get your corn done, you're going to leave it on the pilot light, right? So that it stays warm, and you're going to put what on top? A lid. So put that on your mise en place. You're going to need a lid, okay? I'm going to get a lid so we can put a lid on here, honey. We're going to turn on the other side. Okay. 